the courses common to the A318, A319, A320, and A321. These aircraft have the same type rating. A320 will be the generic term. We will refer to the others when appropriate. The A318, A319, A320 and A321 are twin-engine subsonic medium-range aircraft. The A320 family is the most advanced single-aisle aircraft in service today, with fly-by-wire flight controls. The family offers a choice of two power plants, International Aero Engines IAE, and CFM International. The A318 can also be equipped with Pratt & Whitney PW6000 engines. With a maximum takeoff weight, MTOW, of 75.5 tons, the range of the A320 is 2,900 nautical mile, as shown above. For the A318, with a MTOW of 68 tons, it is 3,200 nautical mile. For the A319, with a MTOW of 75.5 tons, it is 3,000 nautical mile. For the A321, with a MTOW of 89 tons, it is 2,700 nautical mile. The cabin is equipped with a maximum of 136 seats for the A318, 145 seats for the A319, 180 seats for the A320, and 220 seats for the A321. The A318, a319 and a321 have exactly the same dimensions than the A320, except that the A318 is approximately 6 meters shorter and 1 meter higher. The A319 is approximately 4 meters shorter. The A321 is approximately 7 meters longer. The following areas are unpressurized the tail cone, the main gear bay, the air conditioning packs, the nose gear bay, and the radome. Let's briefly familiarize ourselves with the location of the communication antennas. VHF 1, VHF 2, VHF 3, and HF 1 and 2. Let's now have an overview of the location of the navigation antennas. Radar, localizer and glide slope, DME 1 and 2, ATC, GPS 1 and 2, marker, TCAS, ADF 1 and 2 Radio Altimeter ELT Emergency Locator VOR 1 and 2 The minimum pavement width for a 180 degree turn is 19 meters for the 318 21 meters for the 319 23 meters for the A320, 28 meters for the A321. For the A318, A319 and A320, if the wing clears the obstacle, then the tail will also clear it, as it is inside the radius of the wing. For the A321, the tail is the constraint. There are three cargo compartments, a forward cargo compartment, an aft cargo compartment, and a bulk cargo compartment. The size of the fuselage accommodates standard containers. The cockpit is designed for a two-member crew operation with one or two observer seats. The cockpit of the A320 a two-man glass cockpit is the most advanced cockpit of any civil airliner. 
It has an optimized layout of six LCD display units. The absence of control columns between the pilots and instruments ensures excellent visibility of all instruments. The system controls are located on an overhead panel in such a way that both crew members can monitor them. The pilot seats are electrically or manually adjustable. All the seat adjustments will be presented during the simulator session. Click on the forward arrow to see the five elements in sequence. The overhead panel is used during the pre-flight to check that all the lights are out, dark cockpit philosophy, and in-flight to carry out emergency or abnormal procedures. The central part of the overhead panel is dedicated to aircraft systems such as air conditioning, electrical, fuel, hydraulic, and fire. Note, the most frequently used controls are located on the bottom part. For a closer look, let's take the fuel panel. On the left and right side is the system name. For each system there is a schematic diagram. Notice all push button switches are in lights out configuration. The glare shield is used by the pilots for flight guidance and short-term flight management. It is also used to control the electronic flight instruments. The instrument panel gives the following information to the pilots. Flight information through the electronic flight instrument system, EFIS, and integrated standby instrument system, ISIS. System information through electronic centralized aircraft monitoring, it came. Now let's see how we deal with units in this course. Individual airlines can choose which units they wish to use for some parameters on the ACAM screens. In the examples shown we have highlighted the areas on the screens where the units used could differ. Because these indications are only mentioned in a few areas of the ground school course, we will use boxes to indicate that the units may differ depending on your airline's choice. The boxes mean that the information in this area of the screen is irrelevant to the system being studied. When a system, for example fuel, is being studied, then appropriate unit values will be shown. The pedestal includes the controls which are usually found in conventional aircraft radio communication, flaps, speed brakes, engine controls. It also includes the ECAM control panel, the multi-purpose control display units, which are the long-term interface with the flight management and guidance system. The aircraft is flown manually using either side stick. They are located on the left and right sides of the cockpit.